All right, this video is just a really quick and dirty way to understanding atmospheric refraction. A lot of people don't understand why cold or warm air over a curved surface will actually bend uh, the image of the object up or down, depending on what it is. Let's say we're talking about atmospheric looming, right? So in that case, we have a little bit of ocean water or whatever here, and there's some sort of building. Um, so I'm not going to worry about whether or not it's actually blocked by the um, curve or not, but basically, if the water is very cold, right, you'll have a layer of, say, cold air here like this. So that's, excuse the bad handwriting, that's cold air. <laughs> and so the confusion comes from where you think, okay, so the, here's a person standing right here. My drawing is terrible, I know. So that's a person standing right there, and normally they would see the object because the light takes a straight path like that. And the confusion that people have is that, well, this doesn't make sense, right? Because if I if I allow the cold air to bend, because you know when light goes into a denser medium it bends down, if I allow it to bend down, that means that same light ray is going to bend down into the earth and never get to them, right? Yeah, that's absolutely right. What you're not understanding, however, is that that's not how optics work. You know, it's not just one ray coming from an object. You know, light hits the object and light is coming out in all different directions. You have a light ray coming here, there, there. They're coming out in all directions. So what the cold air does is it bends the lights down. Therefore, the ray that you're seeing is going to be different from what you were seeing before. Rather than this ray, since this ray gets knocked into the earth, rather, you're looking at a ray that's a little bit higher. Then it gets bent down into your eye. Okay? It's a terrible drawing, I'm sorry, but that's basically what's happening. Okay, so... Basically, you have an object, rather than you seeing this ray going straight to you, instead, it goes up and curves over, right? Because there was already a ray going that way. If there was no refraction, it would have just gone, and you never would have seen it. But with cold air, again, this is over-exaggerated, obviously. With the cold air, it gets bent down. The one that was aimed somewhere else gets bent down and is now, uh, you know, visible to you. So that's how it works. You know, it's, it's a different ray that's being bent down. The ray that you would have seen gets bent into the earth. And now for warm air. So with the warm air, with the warm air, right, you know, it's the same principle. Normally, you see this light ray coming straight to your eye, right? But warm air, since this air is less dense than the cooler air above it, right, it's cooler air up here, whoops, too close there. Again, sorry, it's an awkward position, that's why the handwriting is so terrible. But, um, anyway. Now, it's a light ray that, because remember, there are light rays going up, the side, this way, they're going everywhere, right? We're talking about optics, we don't just consider one ray coming out, it's many rays that we're talking about. So obviously, the ray that was originally would have come to you, now is being bent up and away from you, it goes above you. So, it's actually the ray that was going down that gets bent up and into your eye. See, that's why it's very counterintuitive. You think, oh, the light's being bent up, that means that the image should be raised up. Well, that's not true at all, right? I mean, you can try this with water. You can try this with water, right? So, go inside of a pool. Take a look at the sun, or, well, maybe not the sun, but, you know, some sort of object. You'll notice that the object is being bent up, even though the light always gets bent down. You know, laws of refraction say, yeah, the person here... And the light comes into the denser medium, which is the water. It's bent down. All right, so here's your object. Well, actually, let's say that this is the object, that magnet there. See, that magnet's the object. The light ray that you're interested in, 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 in whether or not you'll see it, is this ray coming over here. Right? It'll come to the water, be bent down, according to Snell's Law. Right? And there you go. It gets bent into your eye. Now, your eye can't possibly know what path the light took. So it always assumes that the light took a straight, a straight path. Which means it, and you learn this in basic optics and physics classes, um, it traces it back and it believes that the object is actually up here. Right? 
This is where he thinks the object is coming from. That's why bending rays down raises the image of the object. Right? 